Hi, I'm Karthik. Welcome back to my Maktak channel. Uh, in this video, I, go, I wish to throw a little more uh, detail about the data controls which we can uh, in Google Data Studio, which you can set at report level or at the page level or for the specific chart. Uh, uh, we, uh, we, uh, we have the dashboard already created uh, for my previous video on Data Studio, like a lead generated versus scheduled appointment. Um, let's get back to the same dashboard. I will clearly show you how to uh, identify which data control is uh, specific to a chart or which data control is specific to a page or which data control controls at the report level. Mm. Uh, whether it's a filter or like the calculated fields or the data control all can be set uh, at uh, the hierarchies like the report level, page level and the individual table or the chart level uh, to easily identify uh, whether uh, data control is nothing but add a data control it can be like a drop down list, fixed size list, input box, slider, slider is the, thing, uh, slider is the one I have used here and drop down list is the regular drop down list uh, you could see so um, we have two two sliders and one drop down list here and one slide here mm. and uh, two scorecards and three uh, bar charts here. Uh, if you wish to know which of the controls I have applied for uh, at the report level or which are the controls I have applied for the page level and for the specific chart level. Uh, first let's see. Uh, just right click on this data control and select select list controls on the page which means that this data control controls the specific components of this page uh, page is nothing but a report has multiple pages and we are controlling we are talking about a specific page if you just click on this it will show like this data control controls all this um, components of this page and if you want like uh, if you want to group some uh, uh, there is a concept called grouping you just click on this one and uh, ensure, you say ensure that you, uh, you specifically select those things only so you don't uh, group the unnecessary parts you don't want to add have selected five components five components selected ensure you uh, you might know like we can change the data source uh, right uh, at the when we set a specific chart or like a data control itself I'm just uh, removing this data source and instead of this I can I'm choosing another data source this is the common error you would see uh, for um, you would see AI in data studio so don't worry about that you have to uh, tweak little bit of things whether at the data source level or at the different uh, uh, or at the fields uh, you have to you have to go through uh, you, you should know like how to troubleshoot that if you see this error most of the times it would be like uh, when somebody changes the data at the pay at the spreadsheet itself then you have to reconnect it and import the added fields those kind of things you, you should know how to troubleshoot now getting back to this topic I am just uh, grouping it if I group it this data thing uh, this whatever I am just uh, changing here would be applicable for this setup this group only it won't affect uh, the other components of this page where, uh, though it, they are in the same page uh, this slider this bar chart uh, and this two bar charts won't be affected if i change some data group uh, data control uh, uh, of this group and in similar way I just, when I just uh, you know I uh, if you don't want uh, let me just get it uh, show you the easy thing show uh, select list control on this page I, uh, let us group this uh, three charts and this slider together okay 
it's already grouped so you don't have to you can just bring forward means like it will uh, and you can uh, align horizontally or vertically also that also can be done so that you can see it easily uh, just for the uh, for the demo it's already grouped so when i change some uh, just click here so that you work on the still group uh, so let's go uh, to avoid confusion let's go back to the view one just click the control here it will affect the only this chart only it won't affect the uh, It won't affect this uh, this group so in this way you can you can uh, make the data controls to a particular group or if you uh, once you make to a group but you uh, what if you, you want to change it to a page level you just click on this one group it and just make it to the report level or like you can make it to the just wait once you make a mess of the it will be like uh, tough to navigate here and there you can make a uh, make a uh, data control uh, add to the page level also it can be like the page level or the report level or like a individual group level individual group level means you, you can you can target a specific chart or like a specific uh, mm, scorecard or like a specific table all can all will be categorized under this chart only so you can call it as a chart in general hope it's clear uh, whether it's the calculated fields or the filters or the data control all follows the same hierarchy report level uh, page level and the specific chart level so um, i hope i have made everything clear to you and uh, if you have any doubts you let me know in the comment section i will happy to answer that thanks for watching please consider subscribing to my channel